Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can quickly convert this scan to a solid. So as you see here, we have this scan is just opened and we got some issues. Uh, after scanning this, by the way, this is scanned it was uh, a phone, so it's not be it's not going to be that perfect scan. As you see, you just have some gaps and open it faces here. So let's begin first. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a closing for all of these gaps and open it surfaces. So scanny part like that could be have tons of triangles. And as you see, this is massive numbers of triangles that I just little harder to get a solid with it so we will see now how we can just convert all of this triangles into simple quads and get the solid with the same quality of this scan so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to press on the quad rubbing and i'm going to tell them that i need it to be one 0.5 okay and and mesh is not closed then let's press ok all right then I got this quads here and we're gonna try to make this stuff more detailed so at first I'm gonna need to close the gaps so to do that I'm just gonna press on any edge here and press on quad full so it should quickly close it but first, you might need to fix if there anything need to be moved or something. So I have here this need to be moved like that. I can't even just delete these and quad fill from here. Okay. So another way we got this. Let's delete those overlapping edges and quad fill from here. and we got this guy here need to be closed let's delete this and press on any edge quad full I got this open here I can delete those and re quad fill it and the problem fix it we can add, in addition add some uh, paint relax here, so it's just going to smoothing stuff more. Okay, just a little bit, and let's see what else. <clears throat> I can press on the isolate oven edges, so it's going to tell me where exactly the oven edges. So it's telling me it's here. I can close this by bridging it, and can make a small bridge here just move this here and small bridge between those edges and then quad full okay it's a piece of cake here also connecting a bridge some edges <clears throat> and Quad fill. I might need to fix something here. Alright, I think it's that. Let me just delete those. And make these. Let's see, try again. Okay. Now we got this down here let me just bridge this quickly 
and try to close the bottom. So how I can close it? I'm just going to fix this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this oval down edge here, try to flatten it, and remove the constraint to mesh here and just snap it down a little, make it flat. So that a flat edge now. All right, and about this one, we might be, we might need to just move it a little here. And this line is unnecessary, let's delete it. We got this also unnecessary. Okay. And I'm gonna bevel this. And quad fill. So it's now fully closed. Now hit the isolate oven edges again. And it should be all closed. Now a little of paint relaxing here <clears throat> and a little here, tiny edits here and then let's move to the next step and it's shrink wrap. So once I had shrink wrap here, gonna check the constrained mesh and tell him optimization, show review. Now it's on the zero. Let's remove the lines and the vertices. And it should give you the full details of your scan now. The more I just increase, the more I get details. And you can see the difference. Okay, now it's, it's made a tiny difference here. And I think one is very enough. More than that, it's not gonna be good. So let's, let's apply the auto smooth and see if there are any difference. Okay, I'm gonna leave the auto smooth on. So let's apply this and <clears throat> on here, I need just to, to build this up a little. Now let's see if I need to do any edits or something. I guess I can just do a paint relax here. Increase it to a one. And okay. Now everything is just looks great here, and it's just closed. Or oh, everything you mesh here is is closed so what I need to do is just smoothing this stuff around here just tiny moving here Okay. And now let's just convert and see the results. So here is it, our solid body. Just take a little rough material, 
Remove this plastic. Rough. Okay. Now let's remove the lines, and here is our solid. So it's that easy. Um, this didn't take a time, and it looks very amazing. And this is how you can take a scan of mesh and convert it to a solid body with the bar surfacing. Um, in addition, I can just add some base under it, underneath it. I'm gonna press on the top plan, hold the control key, and from here. Apply and sketch. I'm going to sketch a slender. Okay, now extrude it. And merge the results. Okay. Now I can go to the chamfer and can chamfer this edge here. Okay, now apply it.